All right, hi everyone. So I've got a bit of problems with the, the dome. Uh, last night I came in to set up to do some imaging around about uh, half past 11. And uh, when I tried to uh, open the shutter after connecting the laptop to the, the mount and the dome rotator and all that sorts of stuff, uh, there was no, nothing was happening and the shutter wasn't connecting uh, back to the rotator. And uh, that's when I noticed that there, there was no lights or anything at all on the, um, the, the controller for the shutter. So I uh, suspected that the battery's maybe gone flat, even though the, the charging uh, was connected uh, all day yesterday uh, onto the, the charger. Uh, so I don't know what's happened uh, during the course of uh, yesterday. And uh, the little, the red charging light on the charger wasn't on, uh, although the power light uh, is indicating uh, green. So I connected the a USB cable. Uh, where is it? I connected a micro USB cable directly into the shutter control, uh, which connected up uh, to the rotator then and it uh, showed up on the laptop that the battery was down at 4.1 volts or something like that. So there's something been going on uh, with the rotator. So I went and grabbed another charger, one of these car chargers, and I clipped it uh, onto the dome, and uh, that one's positive, and uh, nothing uh, is being detected uh, at all. Uh, on the uh, charger so there's something going on or maybe the voltage is so low now uh, in the battery that uh, there's not enough uh, power there to kick start the, the charger as the modern chargers need to see a voltage uh, before they, they start a charge cycle so that's what I'm going to dig into now so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Enclosure. I don't know if I find this good there, but where I'll let it there. Okay, what have we got in here? See where. See if we've got voltage on the battery. So just using a DVM and absolutely no power there at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the battery off and I'm going to connect it up to uh, another car back battery uh, and just give it a, a bit of power and just see if that will allow it to then kick start. Uh, charging process. Alright so here I've got a 12 volt 5 uh, amp uh, power brick uh, from one of my, my other shooters and uh, definitely 12 volts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put some juice into the battery. So I'll just centre positive, I'll just put the shell on the negative and I'll switch it to the current which is the amps on the 10 amp range and I'm putting in three of the three amps going into the battery there so I'll just keep it there for a bit okay now if I check the voltage in the battery We've got 11.6 volts in there, so hopefully that will kickstart the charger now. So let's go and try that back in the door. Alright, so back in the dome, I took that car charger and I've kick connected it up uh, to the uh, dome battery. And we can see it's now uh, kicked off a charge, 12 volts going in, and the charging indicator is flashing away there. So we're just going to leave this. Uh, for a few hours and, uh, and then we'll stick it back. 
and try it back on its normal charger again and see what happens there. Alright, so the battery was still charging but uh, it was reading 13.4 volts. Uh, so I wanted to move it back in and try it on the, uh, the next dome supplied uh, charger. So I put the battery back on, I put some new tape on there as the uh, sticky wasn't sticky in. And let's just connect back up the battery. So both magnets have now connected. And you can see down on the charger, we've got a charge indicator. So we'll just leave it like that and see how it gets on. Alright, so it's been all afternoon. The uh, charger still says it's uh, charging the battery. And I've connected the dome, I've turned on the shutter. And it's telling me on the computer that the voltage on the battery is now up to 12.79, uh, which is good enough uh, for this evening. So that's only one thing left to do is uh, open the shutter and get some imaging done. So thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next one.